Hi there, it's uh, Greg Benson Shettle here from uh, Greytech. Uh, just a quick little video regarding the latest version of Revit 2022. Hopefully you've had a chance to install it now. But I wanted to talk about the family content packs. In last year's version, what we found was that during the installation, it didn't actually include the UK content. Or whichever country you're from what you had to do instead was go off to the insert ribbon and uh, use this get autodesk content button that would then open up the autodesk web page and you could scroll down until you found your country relevant uh, content pack with all your families now in 2022 they've changed it up one more time let's have a look so if I go to load a door, for example, and I need to go load family, well, I don't have my content pack. So I cancel. And if I go off to the insert ribbon, there's no get anymore. Instead, there is this load Autodesk uh, family, but it's currently grayed out. And that's because I'm still in the load door tool. So I need to cancel that. We then go off and click on load Autodesk family. Now this launches this very useful uh, little browser and there's a search field up there. So I could type in, for example, door and uh, it's going to go off and find details regarding doors. But that was a little too vague and it's found lots of things that contain doors. So if I have a look, have a look down the browser panel at the side, I could be more specific and say, OK, I am looking for external doors and then it will repopulate this panel this browser that we have here if you're familiar with the gray tank power pack and the family manager this might look familiar to you a little nod there so you pick the door type that you want you then have to load it wait for that to download and load then i go back to the architecture ribbon i can then click on door and that door is in this project and this project only. So you'd have to do that for every single project, every single time. That, that is beginning to grate. I've only been using Revit 2022 for a while and it's quite annoying. So how can we get hold of the content packs? So if we come down to our task manager area and we take a look at the Autodesk app, here we go. I'm going to click on the uh, My Updates. I'm going to use this search field here. Click on the magnifying glass. I'll type in 2022 to try and minimize what we're looking at. And we can start scrolling down. And let's see what we can find. Going down, going down, going down. Oh, look, there's German content pack. Japanese. Haha, -ha, here we go. UK content pack. Looking good. Uh, so here, we have an update button. So we should be able to click on this and then start the download. If for any reason you don't have the Autodesk uh, desktop app installed, then you can always go to your browser, go to your Autodesk account, and then go into your software and products, find where it says uh, updates and do a similar search and you will find your UK content. Hopefully that's uh, useful to you. So let's have a look at the download procedure for the uh, UK content. I'm going to click on update. We have a downloading operation going on. Now that may take some time because as you know, the uh, content packs are pretty darn big. So I'm just going to pause my recording for now. So we get the normal we'll come back in a button short that says do you want to allow this to happen? And now it's preparing to do the installation. Here we are, Autodesk 
UK English content for 2022. And we have a handy install button. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll come back in a short time. So there we are, all installed. Uh, Autodesk UK English content for 22 installation complete. And we can click on the finish button. Let's go to my software. Let's see if it is immediately there or do I need to actually shut down Revit for this to be there? Let's find out. Door. Sure. Load family, UK, we have success, there we are, we have our doors fully installed, thank you very much Autodesk um, for allowing us to have that via our desktop app, there we go, thanks a lot, see you next time.